Hello there guys and welcome back to Nino Kuni. Uh, last time we ventured into Deep Dark Wood and today we're going to be taking on the guardian of said wood. So, we'll see how this, uh, how this turns out. Hold up, Ollie boy. Huh? What is it? Listen, man, something's coming. But I don't... It's him, it's the flipping guardian! Well, okay. <laughs> Thrown right into this, that's for sure. Oh dear. Let's try this. That did some good damage. I wonder if we get more damage from hitting him in the back than the front. I'm not sure. Uh oh. Nickers <laughs> looks. This looks serious, Ollie Boy. You best defend yourself. You seen the defend command, didn't it? Use it, or you're in for a proper headache, Mum. Ah! Oh. Nice one, Ollie boy. There's Tidy. Defending yourself against big moves like that can earn you a nice little bonus as well. So when he starts building up a nasty looking number, be sure to put up your guard. Oh, well I'm about to go back in anyway. Am I? Oh, that's so strange. I'm recharging. Wrong button. <laughs> there we go. Still learning the controls here. Look at it, boy. The big lump's only gone and knackered himself. Now's your chance to give him a proper walloping. No, no. Okay, cancel. Eh. Really? Oh my goodness. Alright, so I'm gonna cure for sure. Um, oops, wrong button again. Definitely wanna defend against that one. <laughs> Okay, that did not do as much as I'd hoped it would. I'm gonna heal up again, and then we're gonna send out Mighty again. Uh-oh. It's a neat mechanic, to be sure, to be able to guard like that, actually. That's a gold glim, man. That little beauty will restore your HP for you. Not only that, it'll let you do a miracle move that doesn't use any MP. But don't hang around forever, hurry up and grab it. Uh, where is it? Oh, Psh, Jesus Christ. Oops. Defend. Ah! 
All right, well, there's another one. Oh no, it's the same one. Okay, my bad. Am I just like missing something here? Why does he keep missing? Oh dear, okay. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to Mighty just because I do not feel like I should be wasting my uh, MP. Got him down. I'm sorry if I'm not talking a lot, guys. Kind of try harding. <laughs> I'll get the mechanics down soon enough. Yay! Ooh, we level up a lot. Spirit of the Woods. Sandblast, okay. End of page describing the Guardian of the Woods. Oh, well, there he goes. <laughs> Crikey, that was a close run thing, man. The Guardian, he headed towards the deepest part of the wood. Do you think he's back to normal now? Your guess is as good as mine, man, but that weird look in his eyes has gone at least. I reckon he'll probably take some time to get out of his. Uh, sorry. I reckon he'll probably take some time to get out of his head together, but then he'll be right back to the old guardianing. But what made him go all screwy like that? You don't think it was... Corset flipping was. Had Shadar written all over it. We best watch our backs if we visit any more forests. Saying that, you get guardians everywhere. Anyway, we did what we came to do. We best go back and see old Treeface, eh? Sure, let's go. Wizards come in, okay. Hmm. You did well to calm the guardian of the woods. And I found what I was looking for. But first, a gift. My way of thanks. Gee. You were on a roll, by yeah, man. I entrust to you one of my closest companions, the Telling Stone. His knowledge of our world rivals even my own. I thought he might help you on your journey. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, he will tell you anything you wish to know. And the other thing, the locket. This is what you came here for, is it not? It is a vessel for fragments of the human heart. To rescue the heartbroken, you will need the locket and the spells required to use it. I will give you those as well. Thank you so much, Old Father Oak. Hmm. Such a well-mannered child. Unlike some I could mention. What? I... All right, all right. Ta, Buckface! Hmm. Some things are as unchanging as the forest. No matter. You had best be on your way. Now. Boy, you must come and see me from time to time, and tell me of your travels. I look forward to hearing of your progress. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Let's be off, shall we? Time to head back to Ding Dong Dell and mend a broken heart. Okay. Telling stones now accessible from the main menu. Obtained a locket. Take heart. Give heart. Alrighty. There we go. There's that done with. Um, 
I think we're good for saving right now, honestly. We'll save it when we uh, get to Ding Dong Bell. Okay, then. So, one little thing I think I'm gonna be doing... Can I go down this way? Yes, I can. Within the next few episodes or so is I'm gonna be grinding off camera to level up Watch a little this. bit. That's just how I play. I like to be very strong and slightly OP, probably. Um, and I have played, as I mentioned in a previous episode, I have played the first little bit of this game, and I do know that having some levels behind you is very helpful. And doing the optional stuff as well is also very helpful. Dump the egg. <laughs> speed that we're getting now seems like nothing compared to what we just got. Like, we got so much. Uh, Ding Dong Dell is like... Over this way. Yeah, I can see it now. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I was just like, um, am I going the right way? It has been a while since I played this actually last. I've been busy with school and stuff. Um, but I've been really wanting to get back into it, so I'm happy I'm Able to film again? We can do this. Here goes. And we are just mowing through these enemies. And there's a shiny thing up here again. I'm gonna go grab that because oops. Um, I know that some quests have you need those. Um, they're not all the same thing, obviously, so why not pick them up? All right, so let's go mend this guy's broken heart. Like he's still the worse for wear, huh? Mr. Drippy, we have to help him. Right, though, Ollie boy, I better explain how it's done then, innit? First thing you'll need to do is to take the locket Treeface gave you and fill it with the piece of heart our friend is missing. Uh, the piece of heart? That's right, one of the bits we're all made up of deep down. The bits we're made up of? I don't understand. Hmm, how can I put it? Ah, just give it a go, you'll soon work it out, man. First off, what that guard's missing is a drop of good old-fashioned enthusiasm. Find some and give it to him, and he'll be right as rain. Okay, but where do I find enthusiasm? Well, now, feast your eyes on that other guard but there. He's got more get-up-and-go than a sack of squirrels. If he hasn't got some enthusiasm to spare, I'm a monkey's uncle. Ask nicely, and I'm sure he'll give you a lend of it. Sure, I'll try my best. Okay. Uh, excuse me, sir. I wonder if you'd do us a favor. I wish I could, I really do, but I'm afraid I can't open this gate without my colleague's permission. Oh no, it's not that. We just want to borrow some of your enthusiasm. Well, if it's enthusiasm you're after, I've got plenty to spare. Take as much as you want. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Drippy, how do I get the enthusiasm out of his, uh, heart? Look at the pages old Treeface gave you in your book, innit? The spell called Take Heart you need to cast first. Take Heart, huh? Uh, liberates some of a consenting subject's emotional essence. Ta! 
tidy. Looks like you've got yourself a locket full of enthusiasm. Now, you've just got to give it to our friend over by there. Okay, here goes. Alrighty. So we need to give the guard the enthusiasm we got from his friend, huh? That's right, Ollie boy. The spell you need this time is Give Heart, ain't it? I know it sounds just like the other one, but don't get them mixed up, whatever you do. Don't worry, Mr. Drippy. Give Heart is the one for repairing broken hearts. I'll remember that. Now, when you cast Give Heart, you'll need to choose the piece of heart you want to restore from your locket. Of course, you've only got one in there at the moment, so even you can't mess this up. <laughs> Go on then, give that guard his enthusiasm back. All right, here goes. Beautiful! It worked! Neato! Uh, Tidy! Looks like uh, he's back in the land of the living! What's happening? Where am I? Well, 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 you're back with us, I see. Yes, I, I feel so strange, as if a weight has been lifted from my heart. I feel better. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I was worried about you. I'm sorry, I wasn't myself. But I'm back now, and ready to work harder than ever. Well then. These fine people have all come to visit our great kingdom. I think we'd better let them in. Indeed we had. <laughs> this way, everybody. I can't thank you enough, but I'm sure you'll receive your fair share of merit stamps for performing such a heroic feat. Merit stamps? What are those? You mean you helped me without even thinking of the merit stamps you'd earn? You do have a merit stamp card, don't you? They're used to collect stamps awarded for helping those in need. If you don't have one, you should visit Swift Solutions in town and pick one up. Listen to me rabbiting on. I have to get this gate open. That's what you're waiting for, isn't it? Yes, please, sir. Tidy, we can finally go inside. We're finally here! We're finally in Ding Dong Dell! Indeed we are, Ollie boy. There were a few unseen snags on the way, I'll admit. But all well's that ends well. And I was going to- <laughs> I was going to take you to see old Treeface eventually, anyway. Right out, on with the wand hunt. The king of this place knows a spell or two. Let's see if he can help us, shall we? A real-life king? Sure! I guess that means we should head for the big old palace over there, huh? Okay. I... Oh, this game is amazing. It's so pretty. Okay. Ooh, hello. Gilders. Alright. Turned out nice again, didn't it, Chuck? Jeepers. It's so... different. Stop staring, man. It's rude. But look at those goofy clothes. Goofy? Are you blind? You are the goofy one around these parts. Huh? Ah, look at his funny clothes. Oh, just stop it now. really look so strange. Just strange, isn't it? Crikey! We better get you a new outfit before they put you in the zoo! Come on, Ollie boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ollie boy, but no matter how trendy they are over in Motorville, your clothes are just plain out of place over by here. Are they really so strange? But this is all I have. Then we'll just have to buy you some more, won't we? There's loads of shops here in Ding Dong Delmon. One of them must sell clothes, innit? I guess. Okay, let's go find a store where I can buy a new outfit. Okay. So if I remember correctly... Is it this one? Excuse me, ma'am. Do you sell clothes from this world- 
I mean, do you sell regular clothes? Clothes, dear? I'm afraid we don't have any in stock at the moment. Don't tell us that, Mon. Have you seen how the boy's dressed? He's a flipping embarrassment. He's getting funny looks wherever we go. My street cred is in ruins. A fairy? I used to see your kind all the time, but I'll bet children these days don't even know who you who you are. Oh my goodness. You're telling me kids these days, Mon. Disrespectful, ignorant, downright rude. They wouldn't know a fairy if it kicked them in the flipping shins. Not like you, eh, missus? Now, about these clothes... Yes, dear. Let me think now. I just noticed her name is Hootenanny. <laughs> uh, now that I come to think of it, there was a traveler who left a set of clothes here once upon a time. He bought a new outfit, you see, so he left his old one behind. Roughly human-shaped, is it? And cheap? I shouldn't doubt. Tidy. We'll take it. But Mr. Drippy... Yes, yes, now I remember. He was the one who... Yes, he said they were very special clothes, made from fabric woven, woven from the fibers of the sky tree, if I remember rightly. Lovely and comfy, extremely hard-wearing, and lucky to hoot. <laughs> I think the only problem would be the size. If it's you who are going to wear this outfit, dear, I'll need a few hours to make some alterations. It would look too huge on you otherwise. Could you come back tomorrow morning? Of course we can. How about that, Ollie boy? There's Lucky. Neato, thank you very much, ma'am. Pleasure, my dear. To the- <laughs> Oh my goodness, until tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's slipping ages away, man. I'd like to go and see the king right away, but- uh, but we can't go until we got your outfit sorted, and it? I guess not. But what will we do until tomorrow? I know, that guard on the gate said something about us getting some kind of card from a place in town. Something Solutions, I think he said the name of the shop was. The one we just went in? The Hootique. <laughs> That's the owl one. Was it, uh, Swift Solutions? There's Clever of You, that's the one. I knew it was some other kind of bird. Nice one, Ollie boy. The stores here sure do have goofy names. You reckon? They're just named after what they look like, innit? Anyway, let's go over to Swift Solutions, shall we? Oh my goodness, it's a kitty cat. I want a kitty cat. See, she likes my clothes. Why do I have to get new ones? Alright, so we want to go up here. Welcome to Solutions, where those in need come to watch their worries fly away. And where those who are feeling helpful agree to perform tasks on their behalf. What sort of tasks do you mean, sir? You honestly don't know? Dear me, you really are new to this, aren't you? Well, I shall swallow my amazement and explain. Uh, let's see. Folks who are in need of assistance flock to me, hoping to find someone willing to take on their errands for them. On your travels, you're bound to run into people who are looking for help. You'll have to decide whether or not to soothe their fluttering hearts by taking on the tasks they set you. Have a look at the errand board over there. On it, you'll see a list of tasks you can take on. At Swift Solutions, you can also agree to undertake missions to eliminate specific monsters. Those are known as bounty hunts. If you want to find out more, access the main menu and look in your journal. Huh. Okay, I think I got it. Your journal will also show you how many merit stamp cards you got. Oh, the gatekeeper mentioned something about those. I, uh, don't think I have one, though. You don't, do you? Well, that's swiftly re <laughs> remedied. Keep this merit card safe. You'll need it to collect stamps when you complete tasks. Once you've filled up a few cards, you can exchange them for merit awards, which are sure to be useful in your travels. Simply visit the nearest branch of Swiss Solutions, hand over your completed cards, and the awards will be yours. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Well, helping people out is all part of saving the world, Ollie boy. But before we make a start on that do-goodery, we need to get you dressed for the job. Now, the hoot nanny said your outfit will be ready tomorrow. So I reckon our best plan of action is to go and get a good night's sleep down at the cat's cradle, innit? Oh, 
already. I'm excited. I love games that have like extra quests or like bounty hunts or that kind of stuff. It's so much fun. It just, oh, it expands the game so much. Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. Sorry. <laughs> um, let's see here. Hello. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. When we return, I guess we're going to be staying the- Ooh! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I want this. Oh, why was there cake in the pot? Okay, anyway. <laughs> yep, we're going to end this episode here, guys, when we return. Uh, we will be, hopefully, getting new clothes for Ollie Boy here, and then going to see the king of cats- of- not of cats, cradle of Ding Dong Dell, there we go. I will see you guys next time, look forward to it!